lovely wonderful people another one do he too another one day grand as we they talk to you so a day grand not be small i need concord to see the tech or say we have been silent uh you know for the 2023 election say we have been watching other people so they talk so, so we just we just be quiet say we'll go talk our own eh grand go fool now but it's say what you want to talk more than talk and which people when i go to when i go talk on our talk and if you have anything to say, speak now or forever remain silent. Obviously, they're talking for court of law. Uh -huh. If you have anything to say, speak now. But the guys are never fifty talk. They're not we, we can't get through with them. So now they we day. I next say they say they know why. You say they get reason. They get why. Why they quiet? Say because they just they look everything. Say because by the time they go talk their own, they say Nigerians go shock. You know how things have been. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Why we have been silent on 2023 election, INEC speaks. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has clarified its silence on the 2023 general election regarding acknowledging the pressure of commit of making comments on all that have happened in recent times at the meeting in abuja on tuesday with the residential election commissioner INEC chairman professor mahmoud yakub disclosed the disclosed the commission lack of public disclosure on the upcoming election and all that has been going on because there's been too much happening with INEC trying to get back their credibility the gathering marked the beginning of the official review of the election conducted the procedures and all yakub said following the conclusion of the election the time has come for us to thoroughly examine and look into what has gone on we, we need to look at things and speak to stakeholders to review, evaluate, so we can make proper planning and provision for next election. Since the conclusion of the election, diversion, opinion, and different words have come on, and we are trying our hardest best possible not to speak. We are trying not to express and not to speak out in things that may be controversial. Since diverse opinion should normally be expected, and the commission welcome all of them as their as their purpose is to improve the future conduct of election and to consider and to consolidate our democracy we will con we'll continue to speak out for what is right and true he said the commission has concluded and has joined with others to see how they can make a difference and make the electoral body a better place Yakub further said, first, our preference is to listen more and draw lessons rather than join in heated and more and of in more offensive motion, public discussion on the election. Second, we plan to conduct our very own review of the election. We see no need to preempt the process. Third, the commission will not want to see to be seen as defensive in the judiciary matter in joining on the ongoing discussions so this is what is happening i next say these are some of the reasons why they've been quiet is it because there have been a lot going on and them um, they are trying very hard their hardest best possible not to speak out so it's not look as if they are trying to defend themselves you know that there's a lot involved in all of this okay so it is it is very very it's very very it's very very obvious that a lot of uh, matters have gone on and nobody is actually and really speaking out to end the misery that is currently going on in the country. You know, the matter is in court. Yes, we agree the matter is in court. But being in court is enough. You know, there's a lot of, um, you know, exhibit that have been taken. But what does that lead to? And how does it translate to real results being, being passed, passed down? That every single person can truly appreciate, you know, and understand, you know, all that is going on right now. So this is what is happening, and this is why, again and again, we want this whole process and the truth, you know, to be manifested. So at the end of the day, as a nation, as a people, we can truly, you know, we can truly, you know, speak out and get relevance on what is needed to be, so that truth and transparency can become our watchword. 
Nigerians are in a space and a place right now where every single person is watching and we want you all to know that integrity should be the order of the day where our watchword should not be demeaned by the you know by by some people yeah we must stand up for what is truth and right honest and sincere so that we can make a you know a real a real effort in tra in transforming our nation becoming a better place it is what it is remember every one of us must do everything humanly speaking possible to trans to, you know to to make this nation a better place let's let's ensure that we we transmit things properly and decently to change the course, to channel the course of what is going on properly. If we continue to lie to one another and to pretend that these things are not happening, we'll be deceiving ourselves. We all know that Nigeria do need, you know, some serious and, you know, we honestly do need, you know, a, a serious move and transition from where we are at right now so that things can change. But what are we doing and how are we going about all that? to bring about the change that we desire. If we continue like this and we do not speak, we will let things go bad, you know, and at the end of the day, no one can truly speak. So what are we doing and how are we ensuring that we're working at it to bring about the change we desire? Every one of us should know by now that Nigeria belongs to every one of us and the days upon us are so critical, yes? I next say they are silent, but their silence is not golden at this point in time. There is a time when silence is golden, but not now. Not now at all, not now. So can you see how things have been? Can you see that we all sincerely and truly need, you know, that push, that move that can you know, take us from where we are now to where we ought to be? Exactly. We all need that so that things can be, you know, better for every one of us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. So let's speak out against everything and anything that will not move us forward. Nigeria belongs to us. Nigeria belongs to us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us... Is bye for now. Bye bye.